Hey, what's up, gamers? It's been a little while. Hello. I am back from my vacation in Texas. Yeehaw, brother man. Uh, and today we're going to do something I don't usually do. Just hourglass PvP. Might be asking, why, Cliff? Why do you suddenly want to do hourglass PvP? Well, no particular reason. Uh, I just kind of have an itch for PvP, and I haven't been getting that itch scratched in <laughs> Adventure. Only problem being, uh, the easy anti-cheat update that they, they rolled out just recently um, has been extremely buggy. So, I will say, by virtue of me having just gotten back from vacation, feeling a little bit under the weather, and by virtue of the game being really buggy right now, we're not gonna make this a long stream. <laughs> What's up, Jules? Crippling Depression. Hey, it's my best friend. What's up, Irvin? Limer? Gaming TV? Frogman? Gotta? Hello? What's happening? I'm, I'm wondering the same thing. Hello, hello? Taxi, what's up? Nuzlocke? Hello? Ader? Jacob? All the gamers rocking up. I should probably tell Discord that I'm streaming here. Uh, let me grab the thing of train. I get a little echo here for a sec. Here we go. All right. We need to let Discord know that we are live. Boom. There you go. Alright. Now, hands up for anyone who has been playing the game the last couple days since the easy anti-cheat update and has been running into bugs. Such as randomly getting booted to the home screen. Such as the game thinking you're in an hourglass battle when you're clearly not. Such as... Still getting stuck when trying to buy supplies, despite them saying they fixed it. There you go, we're seeing some hands. <laughs> yup. So, chat. Last uh, Sunday, I was trying to stream on twitch.tv slash Uh here is so God, Why are you so rude? God. Not just rude, but like annoying. Working here is so unfair. Literally the most cushy job in all the sea of these. Um, anyway, it was drops last Sunday, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go for like 10 hours. Six and a half hours in, I said, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. The game was so incredibly buggy, I had to cut my, sh my stream short. So today, I'm not gonna commit to a really long stream. Uh, I'm just gonna play for a little bit, see how the game feels. If the game feels okay, and I'm feeling okay, uh, we're gonna go longer, but... It's probably just gonna be a couple hours. I'm definitely expecting the game to break again. That's just kind of been my expectation as of recently. Can we get merch? Yes. Uh, we can get merch. If you go to... Gamersubs.gg slash Cliff. I'm a Gamersubs partner. Uh, and you buy anything with my link, not only do I get a kickback, which is super cool for me, uh, but also, if we sell enough product, uh, we're gonna get our own merchandise. Like a waifu cup. That is currently the only way that I would want to do merchandise, because Gamersubs is like uh, a well-known brand and they have their own merchandise partners, so I don't have to like source and get samples and whatever. They would take care of like the design and uh, the shipping and everything. So, if it's merchandise you're looking for, uh, the best way to make that happen is currently supporting me via gamersubs.gg slash cliff. Um, and yeah, every, again, every purchase, full disclosure, I'm a partner, um, every purchase you make via my link, you save 10% on your order, and uh, I get a kickback every single time. Personally, my favorite product has been on this recent uh, travel journey, the sus snacks, the little uh, protein bars. The OG almond flavor, chat. <laughs> I tried that on stream. I was like, wow, this is really good. And I got like one of each. And my favorite one was the OG, which is just almond. Almond and honey, basically. Uh, I hit up the guys from Gamersubs.gg and I'm like, hey, chance of me getting more of that. <laughs> and they're like, don't worry, Cliff, we got you. They sent me five boxes of that. <laughs> and that's like 12 pieces in a box. Like, oh, that's gonna last me a while. Thank you so much. The OG almond flavor, yeah. I don't know what about almond is OG, but that's the OG flavor. Uh, any tips on how to level to Pirate Legend? My best advice for people that want to get to Pirate Legend is that don't rush it. Just play the game however you want to play, right? Do what is fun to you. If you enjoy, I don't know, Gold Hoarder, do that. If you enjoy Reaper, do that. Um, 
And at some point throughout your journey, you're going to notice, hey, my levels are pretty close to 50. And then you know what to do. You know, at that point, you're like, okay, uh, I just need to finish this, this, and that faction to 50. Talk to the mysterious stranger, and boom, I'm Pirate Legend. Uh, that's how I played the game. And that's why it took me like three months to, uh, to get Pirate Legend. Because I did not try to rush it. I just straight up played the game how I want to play. How was your trip? Excellent. It was really fun. If you're not following the Instagram, you're missing out because I've been photo dumping a lot of the stuff that we've been doing. If you rush, the game isn't fun anymore. That, but also um, the game isn't fundamentally different <laughs> past PL. One sec. Let's dehydrate as best I can because I am feeling a little bit under the weather. Uh, people that rush to Pirate Legend get disappointed because they're like, wait, this game isn't that different. I'm like, yep, yeah, exactly. <laughs> You get access to some endgame voyages, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I never recommend people to rush through that. Uh, Plotza, thank you for the super chat, as well as Defiant. How about I didn't miss anyone? Alright, love you, Connor. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Hello again, Sir Accurate Background Voice. Thank you for bestowing the great honor upon me that is making me your background noise. I appreciate that. What's your favorite color of the alphabet? Um, triangle, to be honest. Big fan of triangle. Uh, for those of you that, that don't know, um, let me run through some of the, like, things that I picked up practicing hourglass recently. Um... So what I like to do is put most of my supplies into this, uh, the storage crate, and then keep it right under the cannon. So I can shoot, pick stuff up, and continue shooting. But also, because if all of your supplies are in this crate, uh, there's a possibility for someone to harpoon it. So I like putting empty crates to the corners here where they're not in the way. So if somebody tries to harpoon my storage crate, they're gonna get these empty crates instead. And this stuff I don't really care about, because it's just like... Bananas and coconuts, and that's the worst food to have in PvP, so I don't even put those into the crate. Uh, here we go. Also, look at these. This always bothers me. I hate that they, like, always default to green. <laughs> and they at least randomize it. Good old combat crate, heck yeah. You ever get the bug where you open the supply crate, uh, and if you fat finger the menu, the key bugs on the menu? Uh, can't say I have. Can't say I have. Also, one thing I usually try to avoid, uh... Is having too much wood in here. We're only gonna supply it properly for the first match. But after that, I'm probably just... I'm not expecting to win a lot of fights, just to be very clear. <laughs> Uh, as you guys might know, I'm not very good at PvP. Doesn't mean I don't enjoy myself a fight occasionally, but uh, I'm not very good at PvP. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna supply it properly for the first fight. And if we lose, I'll just go in with basic supplies and see how it goes. Sometimes I get lucky and uh, I end up on the stomping side of the matchmaker. And I get like a free one with some supplies. So what I'd like to do for my first match of the day, supply properly and cook some food. Now as a helm, I always like having overheal. Because you really need to be multitasking a lot between, you know, sail management and uh, steering and shooting. So not needing to eat, because usually you won't be focused. Usually they focus cannon line, right? They focus the cannon here. Oh, nice. Some free subs. Probably base subs, yeah. So having overheal is really is really good for a helm, but in solo especially. Like imagine when you're like really down bad in a fight, and you have to choose between eating so you don't get popcorned um, to death, and like bucketing, right? Like that that can be horrifying. So I like having some overheal, so when I'm like below deck just repairing, I can avoid damage. The overheal kicks in. In general, I'm a big fan of overheal. I know a lot of people don't really care for it, but there's something that just feels apprehensive to me about eating a pineapple, like a, a little bit of damage. 
Uh, but you need to do it because you don't want to be in one shot range of the eye of reach. Suck at navel, any tips? Uh, I also suck at navel. It's that's probably my weakest point in hourglass is navel, or like in CRT PvP in general. The best tip I ever got was aim where they're going and not where they are. That was the biggest mistake I made. And once uh, Mifu told me, hey, like your aim isn't actually bad, you're just always aiming where they are instead of where they're going, that made a huge difference. So let's assume this little rock, right? This tiny jutting piece is a ship. I don't want to be aiming here because like we're both moving, right? Let's say we're going parallel. I'm going to want to aim somewhere around here. So the cannibal impacts where they're going by the time the cannibal arrives there. I know people like to do a whole bunch of stuff uh, with like... Let me show you in a sec. I'm not gonna cook all this food, don't worry about it. Just while I'm explaining. So I know people like to do stuff like counting the rings on the cannon. You know, there are like a couple rings are like, Well, if it's on the first ring, that's where you can aim, blah 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 blah. I don't like that. Um, I also don't like imagining lines or whatever. Uh, I literally just think it's it's like a feeling, you know? It's like you get a feel for it. That's why usually the first couple shots for me is like for me to dial in and then I need to like just figure it out. If I consciously have to think about where I'm shooting, I'm already losing, right? Because like my opponent is just going to shoot and if they're just going to hit, I'm always going to be on the back foot. So the best tip I have is just, just keep shooting and like get a feeling for it. And it sounds dumb, right? It sounds not actionable, but the actionable part is shoot where they're going, not where they are. And then beyond that, just like try to get a feel for it. Just don't see these. Any tips? Uh, check out my Welcome to See These 2024 video. Well, I grab another bowl of water. Also, update. Obviously, while I was on vacation, I was in Texas for a week. Uh, I didn't work on any videos, but uh, production has resumed and I'm now working on part two of the Zero to One Million series. Which is going to be a big video. Oh, am I going to be able to get this done by next week? Probably not. I'm hoping to get it done by next week, but I wouldn't bank on it, to be honest. As I stand. It's a really big video. How big was the last one? Welcome to CFAs. Uh, 21 minutes. Yeah, it's probably gonna be in that vicinity. <laughs> Crossy pancakes, thank you for the dollar, appreciate that. Oh yeah, don't forget to drop a like on the stream, gamers. Apparently that helps. Hey, what's up, Chrome? Mods are here. Get the crooked mass spyglass. Uh, I don't know what this spyglass is. I don't know what stuff I have and don't have, to be honest. Is this medium rare? Or is this done? I think this is medium rare, right? It is medium rare. <laughs> Don't eat medium rare pork, chat room. Usually I don't think you really need more than like half a bar of overheal, so like one whole piece of meat. Uh, I'll go for all of it, because again, I'm not expecting to win the first fight. And also, I always leave some good food down here, in case I'm like stuck bucketing repairing. Oops. So I don't need to go back up to my crate where I can potentially get uh, one shot, you know? But always pineapples first. Put those flares away. And now we can go. First match of the day, see how it goes. See if the Kiwi even works. Laser, make sure you pay attention in school, man. The Vodas are gonna be here. It's in the cage and crooked mass at a cage. Probably not. I don't think I have that. I don't remember getting that. Do you have any tips for making money fast while getting reputation? Again, welcome to COTs 2024. <laughs> That is the video that I made specifically to answer those questions. The whole point of the series I'm working on is showing new players how they can get to the first million. So step one is buying your own ship. So on, in the first episode that's already out, uh, I'm showing you how you can get your own ship in a day. Which costs 250,000 gold. It explains the benefits of having a ship. 
and what I would recommend you do to make that happen in just one day. And then uh, next week or two weeks from now, probably more two weeks from now, I'm going to upload part two, which is the actually getting to a million part. Which, spoiler alert, took me more than one day. <laughs> Stay tuned for more. I mean, I was living the game about a thousand. Oh, nice new bug. Hell yeah. <laughs> He's going to ask you. Are you doing? I'm a little bit under the weather. I think a bit sickly. Tends to happen after traveling. Nice. I finally get to enjoy the hourglass music. Okay, first thing, I half sail. So I don't zoom past my enemy. And then I start adjust. I start adjusting. Give myself left side cannons. He's still running full sail, so I'm going to crank all the way to the left. So I keep shots. Ooh, okay. I'm now aiming for cannon line. There we go. I'm getting high wave, which really sucks. He demasted me, it's not really a big problem to be honest. Because like, he hit the demast with no pressure on me. So all I have to do now is straighten out. I'll hit my wheel, that is actually fun. Okay, I need to continue spinning so I get angle. Mass is not important right now. I just need to get angle again. I need to get my wheel. Repaired. Now this will be great for me if I can make use of it, because I have angle and he does not. Now the cool thing is he's running the pay to lose skin, the phantom skin. Get the death creek. Oh shit! You got a bunch more damage out of me. So ideally, I want to aim for him, because the one ball is what's going to save me the, the fight here, if I can stabilize again. But we're both getting kind of screwed by waves right now. I'm trying to aim towards where I think... Oh, I'm getting high wave to hell here. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to repair opposite side, because he's going to keep peppering me. His aim is not incredible, so I think I can get away with it. But if I start getting damage everywhere, I'm gonna fill up sooner, uh, faster than I can fuck it. Make sure I'm always stocked up on wood. We have one lower and just a bunch of upper decks, so that's not a big deal, actually. The waves are really working in my favor in the sense that I'm not getting hit a lot, but also I'm struggling to hit him. Basically, I'm banking on him freaking out more than I am, basically. That is my game plan right now. Make sure my wheel is straight. It is, okay. My combat crate down here. I did not mean to load a chain shot. Dang it. I just want to aim for cannon line. My win condition is one balling him, basically. I can worry about spreading damage once he's dead. But right now, my damage is very manageable. He's probably struggling with buckets himself. Ah, oh, that damage did nothing for me. Okay, now I'm spreading damage because he's not on, uh, on cannons. And I can perfectly see where he's going because he got the phantom skin. The idea here is that I want him to hurt more than I am. And right now I only have one tier. Three lower. I keep hitting his mast. These waves are kind of rough. I'll give it a sec. Alright. 
And now things are getting dicey. Get a bunch of buckets here. There's no way in hell he can come over, so I'm not too worried about repairs. I just want more and more pressure. Ow. What sucks is I cannot see the boat with these high waves. Basically, the first person to get a one ball here wins. See how I like I don't have to worry about food too much? Because I got my overheal. Getting the short end of the stick of the highways right now. Okay, and maybe I can get a sneaky repair in. Give myself some breathing room. I just want enough time to get a couple shots on, so I have a chance of one-balling him. That's basically the whole idea. Oh, ship! Oh, ship! Yeah, you want to eat here. <laughs> Every advantage I had with them having the ghost curse goes out the window because I can't see him over the waves. God damn it! I'm trying to spread my damage to put more pressure on them. It's good to see that he's struggling just as much as me. Oh, I had a chance there and I messed up. Could have one bolt him. I am running out of overheal. This fight is uh, a bit of a stalemate right now. <laughs> it's really just waiting for the first person to hit a one ball, basically. We're taking turns just bucketing and shooting. It's anyone's game right now. Oh, that was no one in me. If I could get ahead of him in damage, that'd be great. I don't have the luxury of just uh, repairing upper deck holes right now. How do I get the damage in the back there? When? Hold up. Why is there damage at the back? That's not cool. No idea how that happened. Ah, he's trying to popcorn me, so I backsplash. Might want to try and do the same thing with him. I mean, it's working. Popcorn isn't that bad anymore. So I'll play with it. get a full volley off. It's not gonna make a difference. Because there's already tier 3 damage everywhere he could possibly hit. I'm getting so, so screwed with these waves. Oh, 
I'm drifting out of range. It's not good for me, boys. These waves are killing me, man. Okay, I think he might not be able to hit the front of my ship now. Maybe I can get a cheeky repair on. He's not been shooting a ton, so I'm assuming he's stabilized to some degree. It's funny that time uh, bucketing. Sorry, repairing, so shooting. And now he's in the back of my ship, which actually is preferable. As long as I don't die. Uh oh. Gamers? I don't feel so good. There's no way he hits me now, right? <laughs> Surely he's gonna let me repair this. Nice. Uh, I don't see a ship. I'm literally just completely out of range. Uh, it's not horrible, actually, because now he can't hit these anymore. I don't think I'm going to be able to get my mast up, because he's just going to shoot me in the back when he sees that. Uh-oh. Game on board. Okay. Oh, this is a big opportunity for me. Yeah, me losing angle means he completely... Reset. I need this opportunity to raise my mass, otherwise I'm screwed. Well, I kept moving, that's the most important part right now. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the full reset because I can't turn my wheel for a death spin. We got space, we're in the middle of the arena. Okay, most important thing, mast. So I don't just get chain shot. Okay, second most important thing, wheel. So I can actually steal my dang boat. I'm not worried about the damage because it's all upper deck and upper tech deck takes a while to fill up anyway. Okay, now I wanna return back to combat. Let's see some repairs. Damn, I was 1-1 ball away from winning this, but also 1-1 ball away from losing this, so. Okay. I will look in he's still there. Dry up. Okay, let's try not to mess up like this again. Uh, hold up. Forgot to move the firebombs, it's pretty bad. Not moving. God dang it. Cancelled me. Turn into the thing. To the John. Try to get ahead of him in case he drops a sail. I might be able to take him in CQC. Let's see. If he waits for me. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? Bro just said, yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> what? How do I match my first fight to go? Well. <laughs> Bro was like, no, nah, I'm good. I don't want to fight anymore. I want to get the supplies. I saw your chatness and decided to leave. Yo, I 
right. Yeah, all right, chat. This isn't Twitch? It is not. What's up, Rowena? Honestly, uh, he might have just been one of these players, and I, I keep telling myself I should do that as well. Why do I have 35 firebombs? Jesus. Uh, I keep telling myself, and I, I always forget, but like set a timer for Hourglass. I hate getting stuck in battles for ages. So maybe he was like, oh, I've been here like, I don't know, 15 minutes. I'd rather just get, to, get into the next fight. Uh, in which case, you know, I respect that. Make sure I get overhealed. This is pretty much the only circumstance where um, preloading your cannons is acceptable, is when you're diving for hourglass because you want to get that first shot in. Hard up. Any subs for me, gamer? Nope. No need wood. Ah, oh, he ran out of supplies. That makes sense. Okay. Okay, so he's scuttled because he ran out of supplies. No, that's fair. What level is his flag? Level 1. My first time watching CFEs, welcome in. Let's see if the next fight goes a little smoother. I will struggle boss in there. How long do you think of streaming today? Probably not super long, just because the game is really buggy and I'm feeling a bit sick. If we don't run into a bunch of game-breaking bugs, maybe we'll go longer. But yeah, it really depends. Would you travel to? Uh, my next battle, Hourglass. What's up, Milkshake? I love Milkshakes. Oliver, hello. I keep your cannons preloaded as much as you can right now. Uh, there's some new hacks going around, bruh. No, I'm just doing so solo sleep. God, the music is so good. I need advice on how to make gold. Uh, if you're new, check out my Welcome to Sea of Thieves 2024 video. I keep saying that. <laughs> A lot of new players uh, that want to know how, how to make gold. And I made just a video for you. Is this going to be in a video? Nope, just for the stream. Okay, this guy... He knows his navel. Uh, at least he knows like half sail. When I see somebody not half sailing, I immediately expect they're not very experienced in PvP. Go duck in real life. As you can see, I'm trying to aim ahead of the ship, not where the ship is. Oh, that hurt a lot. Actually, boop. Yeah, his aim is good. He is keeping me off cannons. I could go for a D-mast here. But I need more pressure first. Otherwise, it's just going to be able to raise it for free. Shit. Ooh, buddy! Uh, he had my out sail as well, twice now. I need to repair this. I've gotten more damage than him right now. That sucks. Get a tighter turn so he doesn't get behind us. Oh god, this is really bad for me. His aim is so good. Oh, I might be screwed here. I guess I must. I need to one ball him for a chance to reset. I can't fix my spinning wheel, which should be my number one priority, but I still get angle on him. If I didn't get these bugs. Okay. Gamers really not want me to win. Oh god. I mean, he's also hurting a little bit. 
Okay. And the box one. Please. Dang it, me not being able to fix it. What's up with the backsplashes today? God damn it, Rare. I'm so screwed here. Dude, how many backsplashes am I gonna get? Yeah, now he gets to spread the damage all over my ship. I'm so dead. Straight up. That's frustrating. I don't have time to fix anything because he spread his damage really well on me. I just need to hope for angle. See if he had overheal, he could have uh, had more HP. God damn it! All I'm saying is, I'm still screwed. <laughs> Can barely get a shot in between buckets. He's on my right. Okay, he's only gonna get a uh, upper decks on me for a second. Where are you going? Is he resetting? Bro, these backsplashes are actually so infuriating right now in such like high intensity moment. As long as he only gets upper deck, I don't really care. a lot more trouble than he is. That's for dang sure. We can't stop bucketing. Oh. He's also spinning though. That's good for me. I don't always keep spamming blunder bombs like that. Dang it. I wasted my opportunity. He's behind me now so I can get this front damage. Oh, GG's. Oh, fuck. That sucks. That's frustrating. I think it was a good game. That was a good match. That was really well balanced, like, matchmaking-wise, but me getting all these uh, backsplashes was so annoying. Oh, man. That was the win con, was the one ball, and I was trying to go for it while I had angle. That's frustrating. Uh, Stop playing these last week, loving the cell mechanics, still figuring out everything else. Uh, Learning lots from videos. I'm glad you find, uh, find the videos useful. Alright. Let's go again.
What do you think of season 11? Uh, was a lot better before the anti easy anti cheat update. Because the easy anti cheat update added so many bugs. It didn't only only add bugs, but like brought back old bugs. Stream every day? Absolutely not. Do I look like a streamer to you? What's your favorite weapon combo? I don't have a favorite weapon combo. I use whatever makes sense to me at the time. I have insider info. That's very cool. Uh, keep that to yourself. You don't sign an NDA to flex on how you have uh, insider info. That's cringe. Watching Junior channel uh, since your first upload. Just want to say keep going grinding. Hey, thank you. All right. Yeah, as I said, I'm not gonna bother resupplying. I'm just gonna go ahead. Surely 80 cannonballs will be enough, right? Do I need to complete all total death softens for the gold curse? Yes. Yes. Crashes have been horrible. Now, I was playing with Myth uh, on Saturday, and he crashed like every 20 minutes. Apparently, uh, playing on the Steam version helps with that. But even me on the Steam version, I get the, uh, I get a problem where I just get randomly booted back to the uh, login screen. So it's not a crash. I get disconnected from the server. Saw a bunch of other people say they get the same thing. They didn't even raise Reaper. It's fine. We're not doing this for like rep or gold or whatever. We're just doing this because I feel like doing it. Is open crew worth it? I mean, depending on what you're trying to get out of it. Depends on what you're trying to get out of it. Seen the crash quite a bit lately. Yeah. It's not great. Chat. If if potatoes are vegetables and tomatoes are fruit, would that mean that fries with ketchup are a salad? Think about it. Think about it. We get the blunderbuss? Uh, I'm not using a blunderbuss. <laughs> oh, what's up, Callie? Poor Barrick. <laughs> Vegetable fruit salad. I at least want to agree about that. I'm stuck in ship ride, shop for like five minutes. Yep. Hey, Buggertron, remember when they said they fixed that? <laughs> I remember. Yeah. The Mongoose. What's up, Carter? Yeah, we don't have any spots free in our guild right now. My grandmother would like to have a word with you about nutrition. No, I'm good. I'll just have my, uh, my salad. <laughs> Rubens, are you listening? I'm not using a blunderbuss. Like, what are you talking about? I really need to ask you to stop spamming. No, you cannot jump off the ship. That's like an invisible wall. Gold check, uh, 24 million. So basically 4 million, because 20 mil is my new zero. Second like PvP, any advice? Uh, I'm working on a video for PvP tips, but that's going to be like at least a month away. <laughs> it's a really big video. I'm working on a lot of really big videos right now, chat. Immediate next project is finishing the 0 to 1 million gold. Then the supercut. Uh, and after, and the, on the week where the supercut goes live, obviously then I'm going to be working on probably the Skelly Curse video. Which is the big PvP tips video. Because the whole point of me getting a Skelly Curse was trying to get better at PvP. And then imparting what I've learned upon the masses. The 
Is PvP mostly skill and knowledge? It's mostly knowledge. Hey. Also, I need to turn down the music. Music blaring at 100% is kind of obnoxious in PvP. Sales I used to use. I love those. Blue Horizon, I think. He's turning a lot. I'm gonna let him have the first shot because I don't have that many cannonballs. I want to get closer before I shoot. This is a dangerous strategy, but if he's good, I'm not gonna win on base supplies anyway. Please tell me he did not hit my wheel. I tend to run for a re-grab of cannonballs. Every time that I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm about to have a good angle. Because I want to make sure I have cannonballs for when that good angle occurs. This shot's on point. Honestly, I saw that one shotting me. It's a good time to change shot. Usually, I would want to reset, but the reason I don't want to reset right now is because I don't have supplies anyway. So I just kind of want to force end it. Super bothered about losing a fight without supplies. Oh boy! Okay. That was scary. My mass is about to go down. And I'm all turning. Okay, I'm so many layers of dead. Did not connect, are you serious? That should have hit. <laughs> That's a lot of water. That's a backsplash. Coconut's gonna suck. <laughs> Thought I heard him on. I'm out of food. Sailing like that, then comeback is not impossible. Unlikely, but not impossible. Oh, I don't have wood. Oh, that's sick. Okay. Am I still spinning? Oh, I should not be. Why am I spinning? You got this? Do you see what I'm seeing? <laughs> well, I okay. No, I'm. <laughs> I'm sorry, but these backsplashes are like actually so infuriating.
I'm already like bucketing for my life. And then the game's like, nope, that, that didn't count. I'm good. You know what? Maybe I'll buy just captaincy. That's just annoying. Yeah, I don't want to play bucket some. Hmm, where's Marship? Marship, here we go. Even YouTubers have bad days? I'm famously not good at PvP. <laughs> That's like half of my persona is not being good at PvP. So don't feel discouraged if you're having a bad streak on Hourglass. Some of the best players are uh, streamers, because literally the whole job is playing the game. My job is making videos about the game. Hey, good evening, Gate. Back to New Golden Sands. Right, let's get captaincy. Because not having pineapples really sucks. If it lets me buy them. You were going for the gold curse? Now I'm over that. It's so boring. <laughs> Every time I have nothing to do and I start doing the gold curse thing, I'm like, I'd rather just be doing any, literally anything else. It's literally the most boring thing you can do in this video game is getting the gold curse. I don't know who at Rare thought it's a good idea to like make us do the same thing five times. Good luck. Thank you. Right, no, I don't want firebombs. It's gonna have to be enough. Um, bottom. Bump, bump. I want to get back in there. Hey, welcome in, Blossom. I think nostalgic. Actually, that bothers me more than the trip. Here we go. A little OCD brain. Favorite tall tale? Uh, the Cursed Rogue. The whole Shores of Gold series is amazing, but the Cursed... No, not the Cursed Rogue, sorry. Um, out of the Trickster. That's my favorite. Giving Cursed Rogue because Rogue is like my go-to title. Okay. Oh, what's up, Borigami? I'm going to PvP myself. Uh, me and my friend did some PvP stuff earlier. There's a lot of toxic players that were screaming at us, sadly. I'm sorry to hear that. Most of the people I fight against are, like, just quiet. They just play their game, and then they say GG at the end. So I'm sorry to hear that. Your experience has been unpleasant. No, I got, I got a call this morning from the shelter that I can't pick up the cats because one of them got sick. And they hope he just has a tummy ache, but... Thursday is when the vet comes in to check up on him. Till then, I cannot pick up the cats, and I'm really, really bummed out about that. I got everything ready yesterday, and I went to bed, like, all excited, thinking about it, and then woke up, phone call. Nope, not happening. Uh...
You have cats? I want to adopt two cats. It's been a process. Happy birthday, Cheesy. I mean, Snake, that's not a... That's not a measure of skill, it's just a measure of patience. You know, um, most of the levels I got was during uh, community weekends. We have increased multipliers for how much allegiance you get. So it, having 100 levels does not mean you're good. It just means that you have the patience to climb it out. You can literally get it via just Lost Farm. Cats or dogs? I like both. A lot. I don't have a favorite food. I like food too much. Got most of my CLT tips from you. Hey, nice. That the tips are useful. Did you see a skelly? Uh, no, that was just a render bug. Snapdragon, which one? Snapdragon is like an SOC for phones, right? I believe. Oh, that's the um, Simon School sale. It looks really cool. Dang it! I was spamming the grab. <laughs> I've been so sick if I land it. That would have been so cool. Of course, now you do. Now that I'm on the dang thing. Ooh. I'm gonna gauge his spin. Okay. Okay. Playing it fast and loose here. Okay, I'm not gonna stop my spin because I might keep angle for a second here. And that would be big. No, I'm not. I need to fix angle before he gets uh, my wheel. He already got my wheel. Oh, I wanna perish! That's GG's. Well played. Yeah, that's GG's. Bro, the most infuriating thing in CLTs is when somebody knocks your wheel. And when you don't have wood on you. Ugh, bruh! There we go. I knocked his mast with that? I can't even get any repairs. Low key, we're kind of in the same boat right now. Not physically, but you know what I'm saying. Missing these. Mm. 
Make sure you can only hit my left side, ideally. How do I keep not hitting these? Oh, GG's. He got ahead of himself. Yeah, he got a little too, uh, too ambitious with these shots. None of that well played. I'm surprised how good the matchmaker got at, like, giving the opponents a similar skill level. So usually I get people that are, like, leaps and bounds better than me. Never give up, never surrender, never what? I was still spinning. Have it back down, never what? And tips are leveling up Reaper to 75 so I can get the curse. Uh, you need to be Reaper 100. No, you need to be Servants 100 to get the curse. And Reaper 100 to get the costume. Which, the fastest way to level both of these up is Hourglass, obviously. Other videos coming to play Sea of Thieves once it comes on PlayStation? I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited for you. A whole new community of players that can finally uh, check out the game. Obviously, that's really good for us as well as creators and as players. Just having more people play the game is always good. More people watching the videos is always good. But it's also just really exciting. I've been getting to play this game for so long. You kind of like take it for granted. Like, here's the thing, man. Uh, see, if you start Sea of Thieves today, for the first time, the game has so much content. Like, an, an unfathomable amount of content. Only because, like, you know, us veteran players, poor veteran, uh, like, complain about there not being enough to do, um, doesn't mean that if you knew, you would have the same experience. Like, genuinely, there's so much content in this game for new players to explore. And it's so much better than day one Sea Thieves. So I'm really excited for you guys to uh, get to experience that. Too much content? I would say so. It, it just, uh, it's indicative of supporting a lot of different playstyles, which I think is always a good thing. Um, let me cook some more food, because I have been running out of pineapples. Please tell me homeboy has a storage crate. I still have not repaired this. Uh, I'm not on Twitch, S-Trap. I'm just on YouTube right now. God dang it! Base supplies. No storage crate that I can see. I don't need like a crazy amount of wood. Did you get the new CPU? No. I did not. But Come on. Come in. There we go. Now this is what I want. Four cannonballs? I'm so screwed. <laughs> I'm so screwed. Diddly darn dang it. Chat, I don't want to think about big expenses right now. <laughs> Please don't ask me about stuff that costs money right now. I saved up a lot of money to go to that vacation, hang out with the boys. Hell yeah, okay. 100 cannibals? In my skill bracket, could be enough. Mm. Overheal, we could use a bite. Or two. 
Okay, once these are done, we can dive again. Mm. Okay. We go again, eh? Any tips not to improve PvP skills? I'm working on a video for that. Probably gonna hit next month though. There's so many things you can improve at in CLT's combat that, you know, I can't just give you like generic advice and hope for that to make a difference because I don't know what you're struggling with, you know? I don't know if the problem is helming, if the problem is naval maneuvers, if the problem is aim, if the problem is CQC. The one tip I can give you that's very generic is just the more you do it, the better you get at it. What's the challenge? There's no challenge. I guess the challenge is not losing my mind. <laughs> Let me run some ads right now while we're in queue, so they don't have to bring the fun. Oh, god damn it! Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, damage resets when you dive for PvP. PvP is that draining? It can be. It can be. Right now, I do want to PvP, even though I lose most of my fights. Because it's fun. And I think you know, I kind of go through phases. What I like about CLTs is the variety. I don't like doing the same thing all the time. So, like, right now, I feel like doing PvP. Next time, I might not feel like doing PvP. Maybe I'd rather feel like stacking something, you know? And that's what's cool about Sea of Thieves, that it supports so many different playstyles. Okay, let's not overturn off rip. Barnacle sales, I believe? Good chance. Good chance, dang it. Okay, right now I'm, I want to make sure I'm full in cannonballs because I'm about to get a really good angle on him, I think. Never mind, okay. Getting outmaneuvered is what's happening. Twice with cannonballs, this sail. Oh, that was three times actually. I now need to set up a death spin. Do not let him raise that. He realized he can't raise that while I'm looking at him, so now he's trying to shoot me instead. He's trying to harpoon me. He's back on cannons. So I need to aim for cannon line right now. I need to land more of these shots to build pressure. I think the spin is gonna be fine right now. I don't need to touch the wheel or the sails. Obviously my wheel is broken. Important point right now is spreading my damage so that he can't really do anything but bucket right now. Knock him off cannons if I can. Just don't get overzealous right now. Play it slow. I can afford to play slow right now. If he has time to shoot back, it means I've not been hitting enough shots, basically. I'm one one ball away from winning this, so I need to... Damn it. 
I need to play this slow and careful. I think he needs to stop his spin here. I think that's what he just tried to do. If he harpoons me here, I lost though, so I need to be careful. Did he have a curse? I've not been doing a good job. Oh, here we go. I've not been doing a good job spreading my damage, but I guess it was enough after all. GG's fellow. I wouldn't be surprised if he got backsplash. GG's. About 300 hours in Sod, I still don't have the Skelly Curse. I mean, when I got the Skelly Curse, I was like 900 hours deep. So, you know, you can spend a thousand hours in this game and never touch Hourglass. So, I don't think how many hours you have has any bearing to which curses you have. Because again, like, see if these promotes like so many different playstyles. You can just do whatever you feel like doing. I think something now Dead Legend. What's Backsplash? Uh, backsplash is when you bucket and you throw the water out, but the game doesn't register that. The game thinks you put it back into your ship. That's a backsplash. Usually happens due to hit registration uh, issues. Oh, what's up, Gibson? Okay, I hope this homie has a uh, storage crate. That would be swell. I don't really think about touching PvP, I can only get Pirate Legend before PvP. That's right. I mean, chances are you will get into PvP um, on your way to Pirate Legend, because adventure, right? Uh, where are his supplies? Here we go. I'm pretty sure he cracked my mass at least once. I'm pretty proud of myself of having hit the, the mass three times uh, without needing a chain shot. But I will also admit, none of these were, like, intentional. <laughs> Like, yes, I hit his mask three times with a cannonball. None of these shots were intentional. I was just aiming in the general direction of his ship. <laughs> so I cannot take any praise for that. Uh, he does not seem to have a storage crate. Mm. Ooh, okay. We hit the jackpot on chain shots. Homie was loaded. Yeah, again, chat. I just, I go through phases, you know? Sometimes I feel like doing PvP, sometimes I don't. And today, or just like recently, the last couple weeks, I've been feeling like doing a bit more PvP than usual. Doesn't mean I go like full sweat load or anything. I just like to get it out of my system and then do other things. In fact, I'm really looking forward to, um, tomorrow's an update chat room. Let me show you real quick. Uh, if you're watching this on the 19th of March, oh, I can't show you right now. Wait. Oh, not again. Here you go. Starts in 19 hours. Sixth anniversary celebration coming soon. If you log in, uh, you get a golden sailor caps then. And also, there's going to be Athena bottles. So, message in a bottle, but Athena themed. I'm really looking forward to that. So, I'm probably going to be doing less PvP. Uh, just as a result of me wanting to do that. And PvP is just going to be whatever I run into, basically. Um, supplies. I'm still spinning either. Nope, oh, just waves. What rank was he? Rank one, okay. I will take the mangoes just because we don't have a lot of great food. Uh, how's that over here looking? It's fine. Uh, wood, I'm sure, would be okay. I do not need fire bombs. Let me guess, bananas and coconuts? Yep, okay. Let me finish this. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Uh, chat, give me two minutes. I want to take a quick bathroom break. I'm going to run some ads in the meantime. And when I'm back, we're going to be diving again. Go back, two minutes, okay?
You know what I just realized, chat? Incidentally, <laughs> I forgot we've never won a fight uh, on the YouTube stream. Granted, I don't stream on YouTube very often. <laughs> but today's stream is the first time that people who don't watch me on Twitch uh, have seen me win live. That's interesting. Okay. We are good to go. Uno mas. <laughs> nice snow. Any tips for new PS5 players? Uh, Nazra, I would suggest to uh, subscribe to my channel. Or even, you know what? You don't even have to, have to subscribe. That's too much faster. Just check out my Welcome to COTs 2024 video. And keep an eye out for the continuation. Right now, the working title is How to Get Rich in COTs 2024. And then once uh, that is done, I'm going to put the two of them together into From Zero to One Million. You can have one nice long video you can reference for a whole bunch of CFT steps. Hey, thank you, meme support. Can you lower yourselves before diving? Uh, if you're in an outpost, yeah. Already sub? Hey, thank you. I have 105 hours and still not PL. That's not a problem. Again, like, PL, the game doesn't change fundamentally from you being Pirate Legend. Just play it at your own pace. Play however you enjoy playing it. Are you rich in real life? No. <laughs> the government makes sure I never become wealthy. <laughs> Any money I make is like, boom. 44%, what's that? What, 46% tax or whatever. I'm scraping by. <laughs> I can afford a pretty nice apartment. Uh, I can afford food on the table. And I can afford going on vacation once a year. <laughs> That's about it. Yo, only 45%? Is it more elsewhere? 45 seems ridiculous. Nice. Destroyer? Ooh, I do not like my chances. <laughs> I don't want to get destroyed. What do you think of the Thunder Pass? Uh, I can't answer that for you. It really depends on like whether or not you enjoy the cosmetics. Okay, so he's not opting for the regular um, left side turn. Instead, he's trying to parallel. So we need to full sail and grab wind to get ahead of him. I was really believing in that, not one balling me. He has more speed than me. Uh, where are my chain shots? Now the nice thing is I don't need to worry about healing because he's not alive to damage me so I can focus on putting on pressure. I forgot to pick up the chain shots. That is a big oofie. I need to demast them ASAP. And I'm just shooting chain shots for no reason. I need to go by him faster. Oh boy. Ideally, chain shot on wheel is great. Okay, he said GG. Oh, I was like, I don't believe people until they're sunk. 
Ah, uh, he can't interact with the ship. That's another bug. Yeah, that's nothing. I, I'll explain after this fight. Ah, no, okay, so he's still bucketing. Maybe he just wants to talk, I don't know. Yeah, again, I should not trust this until he's sunk, basically. He's still bucketing, he's still in the game, so... I'll explain once this fight is over, John. He's trying to go for one ball there. My aim is not great today. I can play as slow as I want because I know he can't uh, really get the ship moving anymore. And that's the one. Point. Yeah, don't trust people trying to go friendly in Hourglass. The whole point is PvP. Yeah, that bug has been happening since the start of the season, you're absolutely right. Drop the anchor here. So, the interact bug chat room is a bug that happens when diving. It can happen during PvE or PvP dives. Basically, uh, the game no longer allows you to interact with anything on your ship. Which includes your anchor, which includes your harpoon, which sometimes includes your cannon, and might even include your wheel. Needless to say, if you get anchored, like I just anchored him, and you can't raise your anchor anymore, that's a big problem. Now, what I could have done is like raise his anchor for him, because usually that's a client side problem. Uh, so other people can raise your anchor sometimes, not always. Uh, the reason I don't do that is because being nice has bitten me in the butt before. <laughs> well, like, people really take advantage of the fact that I'm like, I've tried to make it fair. Um, so I'm just like, well, we all gotta deal with the bugs. It just is what it is, unfortunately. But yeah, that bug has persisted since the start of the season. And it's really annoying. What level do see? Level 3? Probably gonna go sell that, eh? Yeah. Do you want to see something funny? Wait. Let me show you something funny. Once I get these cannonballs. Watch out, are you ready for this? Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> Sometimes it bounces off your ship, like, into the sky. Can try with another barrel. Uh, has always been slow today, been stuck in queue for a while, trying to find a match. Uh, it has not for me, Dream Wyvern. You might just have a queue bug. Which, yes, is one of the many bugs we are currently dealing with. Uh, <laughs> because the hourglass and the PvE queues uh, use the same servers, uh, you know it's a bug when you queue for PvE and it can't find a server for you. Because you're like, what do you mean you can't spawn, like, a skeleton fort for me or whatever? So, uh, yeah, you might want to requeue. See if that helps. <laughs> I love doing that. Now, with all the bugs out of the, out of the way, uh, all the bugs aside, I will admit, though, that, like, again, I've said this once before, 
The matchmaker has gotten surprisingly good at finding opponents uh, like around my skill level. When I first started Hourglass, so chat, don't get like discouraged. When I first started Hourglass, I got destroyed relentlessly. Like it wasn't even funny. A lot of the people I fought against were either like completely brand new players that have no chance against me, or like actual serious sweat loads that could defeat me with their uh, monitor turn off. So. Don't get discouraged, uh, because the more you, you play, the more data the matchmaker gets on your skill level, and it will try to find better opponents for you. Now, obviously, it depends on, like, who else is in the queue. So, if there's nobody else playing, it would rather have an uneven match than no match at all. So, that means every PvP game works like that, by the way. This is not a CFT 6 or something. Um, so, yeah, you will have unbalanced fights. It will happen from time to time. But, by and large... When there are enough players, I will admit that, like, Seal Thieves' uh, match rank has gotten pretty good. For me, anyway. For somebody of, like, I don't know, like, slightly above average skill, I suppose. Not quite Sweat Lord, but not quite new player. <laughs> I'm, like, smacked in the middle, basically. What's up, Benji? Uh, what was your first ship kill in Seal Thieves? Um... Uh, it was in my... in the video, in uh, the Swabby to Pirate Legend video. The first ship, well, I, we, as a group, sank, uh, was the Galleon that we kegged. When they got, um... When they got Kraken. That was the first ship I ever sank. You know what's happening with easy anti-cheat? I don't think that the easy anti-cheat is the reason for the bugs, but incidentally, the update that introduced easy anti-cheat also introduced and brought back a whole bunch of bugs, and it's really frustrating. So, chat, it's not just you. You're not the only person getting these. I know that doesn't necessarily make it better, right? It's like, it sucks. It sucks all around. And there's no sugarcoating it. But yeah, if that is any condolence, um, you're not the only one suffering. You're the reason I came back to see these, you absolute legend. Hey, I hope you have a good time in the game. I hope you have a good time. If I could inspire you to have a good time, then I'm happy. Oh, the Apex hack. Yeah, that had nothing to do with uh, easy anti treat As far as I understand it. Actually, you know what, chat room? This is what we're going to do. Um, I, I announced in the beginning this was going to be a shorter stream. So what about we end while we're on the up and up, alright? Cheeky little hour and a half stream. Lower our uh, our glass. Lower MSA flag. What's that? Uh, ninety thousand gold, ninety-five thousand gold for a was it three streak. We'll take this. We'll take this. Uh, I'm probably gonna be streaming a little bit less in the next couple week weeks. If you want to see more streams, uh, check me out over on Twitch.tv/Kalterios. Link in the description below. Uh, but I want to go hard on this video because I don't want to take a whole month to finish part two. So I hope I can get this done like a, a week and a half, two weeks. Uh, I'm working on, as I said throughout the stream, the part two from the zero to one million. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be working on. And once that is done, we're going to do the PvP series with uh, Skelly Curse. But until then, thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you guys have a day filled with the riches on the sea. And until next time, peace.